and we are live. Hello and welcome oh, no. to uh, the Silent Stream DS game. And don't invite me on top of that, a WWE game that I played Ubik. I didn't know you played this. All right. Ubik. <laughs> uh, hello and welcome everybody to the stream of SmackDown vs. Raw 2010, the DS version. The DS version, because we're so um, badass like that. Yeah, I've been playing a whole bunch of just the regular matches. I think I've only I have only lost like two or three matches because I found an, a way to like exploit the AI really early on. But it's got this cool thing where it's got cards in it, and uh, they give you like power ups so you can do it before the match. And there's only one I haven't found. So this is drastically different from like the console versions of the games. It's really cool. Uh, and for extras and profile, I don't know what those are. I guess you get them in the story mode, but I haven't played the story mode, and that's what we're going to be doing on screen, so we're going to do create a wrestler. Actually, is records? You, you, I didn't even know you could check your win-loss record. Okay, I lost one match in the whole game. <laughs> and I've done 79. Okay. Oh well, no, I've had 79 wins and one loss, so 80 matches. I am legend status and I have not created a wrestler yet. <laughs> this game's not that hard. It's really fun though, I actually really like it. So let's create a wrestler so we can do story mode. Oh, that looks awful. Holy shit. Can I zoom in? Wow. Can I... I... It kind of looks like his eyes are see-through and you're just looking in the <laughs> background. It does, too. Okay, well, my name is McDrybread. Make the Hulk. <laughs> no. Did it, did it accept the M? Where is it even saying my name? Oh, it's there. Okay, <laughs> I had to delete it first. By default, I'm Superstar. You know you want to be Superstar. Yeah. Why does it start off on caps lock instead of shift? Uh, uh, are there hyphens? Yeah! Probably not gonna fit. I'll just, uh... Am I gonna be able to fit in the dry bread? I think I'll go with, uh... I'll go with MDB then. Alright. Um... Attributes. Okay, now it never clarified at any point when I was playing it before uh, exactly what does what, but right. I'm guessing it's uh, speed is movement speed, submission, submission damage, and holding it in longer, powers like strikes and grapples, and durability is your health. So I want high submission. And I've got four more points to use. Speed. Durability, power, yeah, it looks a bit good. And I'll be an ECW, because they're the Jobber League. <laughs> Excellent. So this is how I look. I guess I'll do head first. That looks amazing. Those eyes are staring into my soul. Mm -hmm. Not the good way, either. Well, very first hairstyle is just amazing. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Like an art, I'm already recognizing half of these. Half of these are taken straight from like SmackDown vs. Raw 2006. Yeah. Well, I'm not quite that bald yet, but I'm getting there. Actually, that's pretty accurate. Can I make the hair longer? Hey guys, you can see on the stream that I'm be being retweeted. Everyone retweet me. <laughs> I follow wrestling, so exactly. I don't know the leagues or anything like that. There aren't really leagues. Apparently I can unlock hairstyles. See, that's that's fairly accurate to how bald I am. <laughs> I'm, I'm getting there, except for I have uh, more of the old man's hairline where it's like the squiggly line. Yeah. Yeah. I'm already starting to bald. Also, is the, <laughs> I like how the hair is red. Can I make it not red? Oh, that color saturation. That is... Some phenomenal stuff there. <laughs> this is beautiful. Yeah. Whew, that's as close as this is gonna get. I'm not gonna fuck around with this then. 
Oh, I'm sorry, that's the color. Where's the color option? I don't know. Oh, I get to pick the face. Let's see if we can tell the difference. No. <laughs> well, okay, the jaw changes a little bit. I have a reasonably square jaw, and I'm not an old man. Also, not Asian. Uh, I'll go with that. Eyebrows. Okay, now this makes and breaks whether it's me or not. I want giant, black, thick eyebrows. Yeah. Well, you can you can make them pretty goddamn black if you want to. Wow. I don't think mine are quite that dark. That's about right. Eyes. Well, I can pick Undertaker. <laughs> oh, this is stuff of nightmares right here. <laughs> I can pick to always have my eyes closed. Uh, I don't know, just fucking... There. I have slightly squinty looking eyes? I don't know. Looks like I'm hulking out if I pick the green eyes. Oops, uh, I want to make that, like, way... Not that you're ever going to see the eyes. Of course not. What kind of lipstick do I want? I think... <laughs> oh you my. Want... Wow. Oh my. Uh, you don't know the difference between SmackDown and Raw and stuff like that? They're just like the different shows. And ECW's yeah. not even there anymore. Um, there's no real difference either than the roster, and like, SmackDown's not live. So SmackDown has piped in audience noise constantly. Uh... Yeah. It's actually really funny because once you've heard the piped in noise once and someone's pointed you out can't to you, unhear it. you can't unhear it and you'll <laughs> notice it every time. Also, yep. Hitler stash. Hitler stash. That's pretty amazing. Is there no straight up just full beard? No straight up full beard in this game. Can I have multiple hairstyles and combine them? No. I can't have my full beard. Aww. Well, uh, well, there's kind of this, but this is like that stupid, douchey, like, ultra-managed beard shit. Mine's long. This is, I think this is as close as it's gonna get. There we go. I think that's as close as getting face paint. Well, most of this stuff, look, stuff looks like it's supposed to be on a mask, not my face. <laughs> yeah, nice uh, mask. Yeah, I don't wear a mask. Well, I can put on a <laughs> Dragon Ball Z scouter. <laughs> yes! I'm fairly sure there's nothing else you could call that. Apparently there's unlock- Ooh! Uh, I don't know if my beard is quite at this point yet. Not quite, but that is there. very manly and Guan Yu-ish. It is very Guan Yu, actually. <laughs> I can pull a piece of Guan Yu in here if they're just full-body shiny uh, green pajamas. There's a cop hat. Looks fucking ridiculous. Okay, why is it if I put on a bandana, it makes, it makes me cut my hair? That's not fair. I've got a bandana. I just don't wear it. Great body now. Uh, well, I am going to pick the anorexic body type. Of course. And for height, why doesn't it just tell me how tall these are? I don't know what this is relative to. Uh, like, is. I'm gonna guess 8 is the big show and 1 is Rey Mysterio. I don't know. 5? I'm like 5 foot 11 to 6 foot. <laughs> So yeah, somewhere between Rey Mysterio and the Big Show. <laughs> yeah. That's that's how they determine height. And for skin tone, I am as white as it gets with... I'm about as white as it gets before you have no skin pigment. I already did head. You know, maybe that's slightly too white. There. Yeah, that's about right. 
costume. It says here that you're 5'10". Where does it say that? I have no idea. I don't know where I've ever put my height online. Your Steam info? Your stream info. Oh, well, I've grown. I'm still growing. Um... Right. Pants. I wear jeans, which is good because it's one of the, like, three kinds of pants in this game. This color's fine. Mine are about that color. Oh, I can pick individual shoes. Cool. I'm not going to, but... Oh, no. I'm... No, that's just the... Is that just the option to color my foot? Okay, no, there are kinds of shoes. Okay. Hmm. I guess I would go with this. And then... Make it... White. Holy shit. This game doesn't like making white things. What the fuck? <laughs> what is that? It's like some kind of holy glowing ghost shoe. <laughs> wow. Uh, I'm... You know what? For the sake of this game, my shoes are black. <laughs> For the sake of this game, your shoes are radioactive. Yeah. So let's just, let's just, yeah, standard black shoes. I tried making a wrestler with a white t-shirt and blue pants, but I couldn't even do that. Yeah, for the console games, having some of the best character creation in any video game I've ever played, the, uh, the DS version, not so much. Okay, uh, yeah, short sleeve t-shirt, but can I tuck it in? Because I tuck mine in. Man, this game really wants you to make a call. My t-shirts are almost all black. That looks about right. And, uh... What's, what, what are the wrist things? There we go. And, uh, yeah, I think that's good. Moves and entrance, finally moves set. This is what I've been looking forward to. I like that little oh, touch. Yeah. It's got me in the ECW arena. And by the ECW oh. arena, I mean the WWE CW arena. WWE CW Arena. Yes, exactly. Oh, I can I can do my 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 stats right here if I so choose. Now, am I able to look at what these look like? Is there is there a button for that? Like in every other wrestling game? Yes, there is. It just doesn't tell you. Okay, so there are stat requirements on these. Okay, like a middle kick is five speed. And a backhand chop is five power. Okay. So there is actually, like, moves that are better than other ones. Well, I've always been a fan of the toe kick. What else is here? Uh, that doesn't look like much of a punch to the head to me. More of a punch to the gut. But okay. And the punch to the midsection is damn near identical. Okay. Quick jab... For us. I think I'm going to go with kick, kick to midsection. And then for my strong strike. Oh, apparently they're ones I haven't even unlocked yet. I don't think strikes are exactly going to be my strong point. Also, that's not a spinning heel kick. Body punch. Oh, I can't have the big boot. That's no fun. I can't even have a drop kick? Fuck. I can have a front drop kick, which looks insane. Whoa. <laughs> Haymaker. I think we're gonna do a Haymaker. 
That's a good one. Which apparently requires less strength than a backhand chomp. Okay, running attack. Got a back elbow. I can't even do a clothesline. Wow. You can't do the jumping me? Damn. I can have kitchen sink, which is a cool move. Yeah? Okay. Um, actually, I'm gonna go with the back elbow. Downed attack. Uh, I always like the elbow drop. Uh, knee drop? I like knee drops a lot. And leg drops, so those require mm. higher power. I'm gonna go with the uh, elbow drop. As awkward and horrible as the elbow drop looks. <laughs> Mega cookie. A lot of these moves look awkward. Oh yeah. I'm surprised I haven't seen much animation from previous games. Okay, that Snapmare is from uh, SmackDown vs. Raw 2007. It's bad that I remember the individual games. Uh, but they would actually stay on their ass instead of falling backwards in that game, because that was an actual position in it. Mm -hmm. See, this is where my strength comes in handy. See, I've already got, uh, this is a level 6 of 8 submission move, and 8 is the highest a stat can go. I could do this, this is a weak grapple. Uh, suplex, straight jacket set. STO? Damn, I don't, I need more power for an STO, really? I love STO. What other moves can I do? That's cool, a cravat. And another kind of cravat. I think this one leads into a snapmare. Yes. Wow. Also, wrist lock takedown. I like that one. And a straight up wrist lock, but this doesn't count as a submission for some reason. And underhook toss. Don't know how that doesn't require more power, but okay. Uh, arm wrench and... Arm, arm wrench leg drop. I like this one. Mm -hmm. Choke takedown. Don't know why that counts as a submission. This should be power. Cross face chicken wing. Oh, it's like, um. Why am I blanking on his name? One of the most famous wrestlers ever is Finisher. You know, uh. Bob Buckland. Ah. Yeah. Double leg trip. Leg screw. I like that one. Uh, Dragon Sleeper. That's a good looking Dragon Sleeper. Flying Arm Bar. Uh, oh, in the chat there. Uh, so this is going through a season mode or something? Yes, we're gonna be going through a season mode for the first time. And, uh, actually... Although this Create a Wrestler thing was horrible, and it, also that was not a Gory special, that was an inverted Gory special, uh, I, from what I've played of this so far, it's actually kind of fun. I don't like it as much as the console versions, but it's fun. Uh, headbutt, hair toss, hip toss, I think I'm almost through the weak grapples. I've always liked the jumping arm breaker. Scoop slam, yeah, side headlock punch. Eh. I do like the side headlock takedown, although it's apparently a very weak move. Sleeper hold is nice. Although that doesn't count as a submission for some reason. Uh, I think I'm gonna go with Snapmare, double underhook. For the up and down one, I wanna go with the jumping arm breaker, and for the side to side one. I want to go with mm, maybe flying armbar. Mm. Uh, Crossface chicken leg. All right, strong grapples. We only get three of them. Oh, this is Triple H knee thing. Yeah. Never got that move. Ooh, I want to see the F five animations. Yeah, Shut Your Mouth, uh, it was pretty awesome. Mm -hmm. uh, I've got Shut Your Mouth, I, I think it's in my PS2 right now. Uh, but my oh, my all-time favorite wrestling game is... Wow, that was the, uh, that was, uh... Why am I blinking on his name? Loki's finisher. Uh, not yeah. the Ghetto Stomp, the... Inverted Fireman's Buster, or, uh, Fisherman's Buster. Yeah, my favorite, uh... My favorite wrestling game was, uh, 
I still play it all the time, is Fire Pro Wrestling Returns for the PlayStation. I think that game is, uh, that would have been, like, what, made in 2005, 2006? Something like that. Actually, no, it would have been made in 2006, 2007. Because, uh, uh, A-Train was actually in that game. Right. Yeah. And he was, uh, in New Japan at the time, I believe. Ooh, Fisherman Suplex Pin. I love the Fisherman Suplex. Apparently I need power for that, not submission, which... I was under the impression that submission's like technique also. Whatever. Inverted Headlock Backbreaker, which apparently requires no power. Dissing Randy Orton with that, apparently. And a lot of things I just don't have the skill for. I can do a Pile Driver, which apparently requires no power. Odd. And a Power Slam, which requires no power, for the, like, a British Bulldog Power Slam. Yeah, that's a little questionable. Yeah. That spinning Headlock Elevator, that looked fucking horrible. Let's watch that again. Yeah. Testicular Claw, Ric Flair-style Grapefruit Claw. Man, not many moves I qualify for here. They're all power. Yeah, the simulated matches were really good in that game, in uh, Fire Pro. Yeah, I guess I'll take the Power Slam, the Inverted Backbreaker, and uh, yeah, Pile Driver is fine. Okay, back grapples. Maybe there's more here. Okay, well I have to take the Schoolboy Roll Up. Love Roll Ups. Uh, abdominal Stretch. I've always liked that move. What else is there? Crucifix Armbar. That is not a Crucifix Armbar. That is a Bow and Arrow. Inverted face like neckbreaker. I love neckbreakers. Elevated double chicken wing. Don't know how that doesn't require power. I do like the full Nelson lot. Uh, sleeper hold. Eh, I don't really like the looks of that sleeper hold. I'm gonna go with uh, abdominal stretch. And I'm going to go with full Nelson. Okay, strong back grapple. No octopus stretch? No. Pump handle drop. Is this like the, uh, yeah, that was the one that, um, Road Dog did. Right, yep. Like, chair draw. I like that move. Flashback, that's a sleeper slam. I like that one. Wow, not much I can do here either. I'm gonna take the pump handle drop, because I love pump handle moves. Actually, you know what? All three of these are good. Down grapples. Okay, this is probably where I have some actual moves. Actually, that looked really good, but I think I'd rather have some submissions for grounded moves. Ow. Ow, yeah, that looks like a really good armbar. Oh, is this the, uh... Oh, yeah, this is the, uh... <laughs> this is the Johnny Nitro leg drop. I love that. I fucking love that move. Yeah, I can't take that one, though. Chin lock? Oh, uh, that's like the head-twisting thing, yeah. Uh, double foot stomp. Oh, like a uh, boot rake thing like Eddie Guerrero. Great. Sleeper. Hammerlock. What's the grounded hammerlock? Ooh, that's actually really good. Uh, grounded full Nelson. Neck scissors. That's a decent neck scissors. Man, I have a lot of moves for grounded position I can do. What's seated armbar look like? Oh, okay, that's like the, uh, that's like the MMA. Grounded wrist lock. That, that is actually a Mexican armbar. I think we're gonna stick with this uh, really awesome armbar near the beginning. And now face up, lower body, figure four leg lock. I'm probably gonna go with this. But wow, that's one slow ass figure four. Oh yeah. Um, so what's this leg lock look like? Oh, that's the inverted figure four, yeah. Uh, leg breaker, that's not a submission, I need a submission. Single leg crab with me, I've always liked the single leg uh, Boston crab. Stomp mid yeah, I'm gonna go with figure four. Can't go wrong with a good figure four. Yeah. Front face lock, that's a good looking front face lock. Not much I can do here, really. 
Yeah, I'll take Disco's submission. And down at the legs. California Dream, is that the Moodalock? Yeah, I might go with that just because it's the Moodalock. <laughs> Actually, is there uh, is the Regal Stretch in this game? Oh, that'd be cool if the Regal Stretch. I love the Regal Stretch. Is that STF 2? No, that's just John Cena's STF? Fuck you. <laughs> really? There's no... Not uh, game, John Cena. No real Regal Stretch in this game? Uh, yeah, I guess I'm just gonna go with the... Uh, oh, Indian... Oh, no, it's not a submission, though. Okay. I'll go with uh, Moodle Lock, then. I don't care what this game feels like calling it, it's the mood lock. Okay, corner weak grapple. I always like the knee lifts. Although the corner rear naked choke is apparently really powerful. And insanely brutal. Uh, Mexican stretch. Oh, yeah, this move is fucking weird. And you can, like, seesaw them and headbutt them into the turnbuckle. Uh, foot choke. That move is weird. That's actually a really good looking foot choke, but uh, I think I'm gonna go with the rear naked choke. Uh, corner forehand shots. What, what's this? Strong? Yeah, this is the strong one. Which is probably gonna end up being weaker than the other one, because this, these all require power. Apparently I have yep. enough power for a superplex, though. Oh, wow. Okay. Enough power for a superplex, but... Yeah, not enough for, like, you not enough for a diving headbutt, which apparently that requires power. Okay, diving boost now. I have enough for the diving double axe handle, which is good because I actually do really like that move. Ah, uh, not enough for- Oh, diving European uppercut. That's not a European uppercut, that's a spinning back elbow. Flying clothesline, I've got enough for that. Don't have enough for the flying crossbody? Damn. Gotta go with the clothesline. And pointed elbow drop. Oh, that's the, um... It's the Bret Hart elbow drop, except for he does it from the second rope and makes it look much better. Mm -hmm. This shit. <laughs> I don't even know what that is. Really, I don't have enough for anything else. Okay, this is our diving move on a grounded opponent. This little. <laughs> this little pinky ass elbow yeah, drop. little forearm drop thing. <laughs> okay, now for our finisher. This is our inside the ring finisher, which I don't want to be the generic ass power slam. I mean, don't get me wrong, it looks great, but apparently it's weak as shit. Oh, we can pick the scoop slam! Hell yeah! Leg trip! <gasps> yeah! Um, man, we don't qualify for very many moves. I don't think we even have a neck break. We could do the gory special, that'd be cool. Um, face lock takedown, does look good. Hip toss for finisher. <laughs> I did finish quite a few opponents in my Let's Play with that. With the uh, hip toss, won me a championship. Oh. Uh, superplex. Snapmare. Oh yeah, Snapmare. Super <laughs> holds two. Inverted face lock neck breaker. You mean Kenzo Suzuki style? The best wrestler ever. I don't love that Kenzo Suzuki. Fuck, he's probably the worst wrestler I've ever seen in my life. He's up there with a great call Lee for just horrible. Go the way of Heath Slater and have your finish him be a roll up. <laughs> Whoa, his finisher's a roll up? Okay, he's had like 500 <laughs> finishers. Am I missing uh, one? Yes, well. we're still creating wrestler. We're almost done. This is like the most involving process. Yeah. You gotta get it right. Okay, until I have good enough stats for like an actual finisher, I'm taking the underhook toss. So it's just a beal out of the corner. <laughs> I'm taking it. Hip toss! Okay, and now for our outside of the ring finisher. Oops. Outside of the ring finisher. You're, I'm pretty sure Heath Slater had a roll-up for a finisher during his Nexus days. No, he had the, um... Well, first he had the zigzag, then they switched it to a jumping sleeper slam, and for, like, two days, or at least two, like, two raws, he had, um... Like, Shelton Benjamin's pay dirt, like, reverse leaping STO. He went through, like, 500 fucking finishers. 
like even nowadays i think he's on i think he's on the implant ddt and i think like a week before that he was a driver the roll-up is listed as a signature move though really so <laughs> yeah wow okay, outside of the ring what my finisher be it's got to be something different Maybe maybe the standard hip. Actually, that's a that's a Japanese arm drag. Or no, that's not a Japanese arm drag. That's a lucha arm drag. Um, hair toss. That's actually a really brutal hair toss. <laughs> I'm rooting for New Orleans. Yeah, that's that's who's in this match. New Orleans. Oh yeah, outside the ring finisher, double leg trip. Hell yeah, fuck you. Get my taunt. <laughs> uh, well, this taunt's pretty amazing. Oh yes. <laughs> oh, I love it. Uh, you know you want the Jeff Hardy taunt. <laughs> the the, the oh, drug addict induced taunt. What, what's this shit? He didn't do the hand thing, and he didn't dance. Oh, where's the dance? I can do Matt Hardy's I'm gonna flutter like a bird thing. <laughs> I never got that thing. I never understood that either. What's jungle? I don't know. What's jumbo? <laughs> very, very gay. Okay. <laughs> Paparazzi? Yeah, that's uh, Joey Mercury's. Money, money, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's JTG. Yeah, that's uh, oh. pretty gangsta. Model? Uh, yeah, that's always also Joey Mercury's. Real American, G.I. Wonder. <laughs> oh, that's Shads. That's Eddie Guerrero. Um, that's uh, MVP. Undertaker's Undertaker, signal the crowd. All hail. It's King Booker. Again yeah. without the pinky out though. <laughs> and that's Viscera in his Playboy days. Bombay, that's Sabu. Bottomless Pit, that is the Boogeyman. Cartwheel, that was probably Bam Bam Bigelow. Ah, uh, come on, where, where, where's a decent taunt already? That's David Flair, <laughs> the coward. Yep. Uh, I think I'm just gonna go with this, because it's fucking generic. Entrance music. Uh, Batista, of course. <laughs> Clearly you want Batista. Uh, I'm gonna go with John Morrison for entrance and for music. Actually, what's original music? I'm curious. <laughs> original music, it's a piece of crap. They just start together. Holy shit, that's awful. I'm taking it. <laughs> that's our theme, guys. I hope you like that ear rape. <laughs> this is our wrestler. He wrestles. He does wrestle. Duh. I like Mark Henry. I like Mark Henry when he's like unstoppable monster Mark Henry. Not when he's, uh, not when he's, uh, mid-card hell Mark Henry. Yeah. Okay, let's do story mode. Or season mode. With MDB, who looks like, uh, who is uh, the Sinister Minister from ECW. <laughs> he kinda does. one that's an easy question to answer a thousand times better <laughs> well, considering that cena is no longer the main uh the main boy of wwe he is <laughs> what, what have you thought about the program since yeah, he's still the the main boy of the wwe he's still the poster child yeah just because they've had the title on uh on on cm punk for a long time doesn't mean that in fact last night cm punk lost his title to the rock for some reason <laughs> That's Ooh. ridiculous. Yes, and uh, John Cena won the Royal Rumble. So, try and argue to me he's not their poster child. He won the Royal Rumble, so he's got a title shot for the <laughs> Dude, WWE title. Vince McMahon's on the phone with you. It's me. Vince. I'm sure Vince McMahon personally called Personally jobbers. just called you on his 
Watch out for those hummers. Also, do you like do you like my 2000 do you like that in 2010 my cell phone is from 1998? Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's going to tell you you're fired. I have not seen a phone with a separate flip down part in the dial on the top since the 90s. The dial is never on the top. I bet or I'm holding my cell phone upside down. <laughs> <laughs> You that much of a job where you hold yourself up inside <laughs> town. So you think you've got what it takes to be a WWE superstar? Well, I hope because I'm backstage right now. Yeah. Did I just break you it? You mean WWE? I thought this was WCW. I thought this was ECW. Where am I? Shawan says, wait, I thought The Rock stopped wrestling. Yeah, he I did. thought so For too. For a while. He came back. He came back. Don't get me wrong, I love The Rock as much as the next guy, but can we please push some young talent instead of yeah. like, keep The Rock for, like, promos and, like, segments like that? Because he's great in them. But wrestling? Yeah. Don't get me wrong, he can still go, but let's push the new superstars. To take on the likes of John Cena, Undertaker, Big Show, and Triple H. One of these things is not like the <laughs> other. <laughs> We'll see about that. <laughs> Even the man has no faith in me. Why are you hiring me? <sighs> I've got a contract here at WWE headquarters. All that's missing <laughs> is your signature. You're hired. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I haven't seen you around here before. Watch out, he's gonna hit you with the sledgehammer. <laughs> <laughs> Don't introduce yourself or I'm MDB. <laughs> We had to think long and hard about this because I'm sure <laughs> I think this... you better be nice to Triple H because if he jumps you backstage with a sledgehammer. Well, I don't. Well, we should really be nice to him because he'll bury us. He's he's the. He will kill he... us. No, whether or not he attacks us, he'll just tattletale on us to the boss and get us b our our push buried. Yep. In fact, he is the boss now. Did you know that he's in charge of mm -hmm. shit like that now? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he'll bury us. I'm MDB. Nice to meet you. And I really don't care who you are. Listen, I talk slowly. <laughs> that was an awkward crash zoom to his crotch. <laughs> that was great. I am the game, the king of kings, and the WWE champion. I like to think he talks like that now. <laughs> and no matter what or you or anybody else does or says, I'm gonna stay that way because I have full <laughs> creative control. Exactly. Because the man you were talking to on the phone is batshit crazy now. Yep. Now get out of my way. Step aside or don't step aside? Hmm. <laughs> Decisions. I'm gonna call it now. If I don't step aside, he's gonna hit me with the pedigree on the concrete and I'll be completely fine afterwards. <laughs> Let's do it. I'm not <laughs> stepping aside. Cut to black punching sound effects. I'm down face down. I'm calling it pedigree. Yep. <laughs> Welcome to the WWE. We assault people who aren't under contract. <laughs> well, that takes care of your contract. By the way, what's this about you being assaulted by my son-in-law? Exactly. <laughs> being assaulted in the backstage of a stadium? You've done me proud, son-in-law. Welcome aboard. Do you like that picture of myself on the wall? We're in Connecticut. But don't think for a second, I consider you a superstar yet, even though you signed the contract that says you're a superstar. Exactly. Fuck me. It's, that's an owner you'll have to earn. I like how condition is just a really happy face. Yep. Yay! Even though you got pedigreed on the concrete, mm -hmm. you're still a yay! Didn't I totally call I'd be fine? Oh, Isn't yeah. this like later the same day? <laughs> I think so. I expect big things from you. Perhaps one day you might even be in the main event at WrestleMania. <laughs> He's talking to me like I'm an idiot. <laughs> but if you cross me, let me guess, you're fired. Well, he is kind of crazy. I'm fired, or you'll admire my testicular fortitude. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna say I'm fired. Exactly. 
Now I'm sending you to ECW. Oh, I see how Wrestling much Wrestling manager you have Theodore Long has a tremendous job with his new superstar initiative. And I've personally asked my fellow Irishman Finley to show you the ropes. Your fellow Irishman. You're not Irish. <laughs> oh, McMahon, you really are going crazy. <laughs> Well, this is what happens when you survive the limo. The, the limo explosion shit. Yep. He mostly made it out okay. Time to job to Tommy Dreamer! <laughs> I don't think Tommy Dreamer's in this game. I think this is a... I wish he was. No, I love Tommy Dreamer, but I think 2009 was the last game he was in. I might be misremembering. Um, this game only has like 30 characters unless there are some you have to earn. You'll find him at the gym right about now. I'm telepathic. <laughs> oh, before I forget, here's a little signing bonus. Hey, tell me about a little $1,000 signing bonus with the world's largest wrestling corporation. Wow. Sir, that's God, so they, much money. They treat you way better than that in Japan. Fuck. Mm. It looks like you kind of need it. Tell me about it. I'm like yeah, showing up. Yeah, we gotta buy a bodyguard to keep us away from Triple H. Tell me about it. I need it. I'm like showing up with a t-shirt and jeans to like the headquarters of the WWE in Connecticut. He's probably thinking, oh great, another Kidman. <laughs> yeah. I do. I've got like the same clothing as Kidman. I just need like ripped jeans. Yep. Uh, short jeans. I got business to run. I suggest you get out of my way. You're a rude son of a bitch for the Everybody boss. wants you to get out of their way today. <laughs> Where do you think you are? WCW? Oh, you <laughs> didn't leave. It's a free roam game. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. Oh my god, that run cycle. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Get some momentum, and can I just do a flying drop kick over the desk? <laughs> Ah! Over the desk, oh, no. just drop kick him in the face. Plow him through the window, he flies from like 20 stories. And now I'm the boss of the WWE. Tourist. I asked Finley to be your trainer. You should be working at the gym right now. Okay. I'm loving ah, the music. Finley's our trainer. Was I just moonwalking for a second? Hold on, I want to see that again. Hey boss, I'm back, just walk out of your room again. <laughs> yes, you moonwalk <laughs> for a second, okay. <laughs> wow, that's great. Okay, like so so here we are in Hamilton, Ontario, WWE headquarters. Let's go all the way to the Midwest to go to the ECW arena, where we can go down to Texas for the main area. <laughs> the main area. I like the main area. Whatever that is. Uh, let's go to main area. So let's go down to Texas to meet up with Finley in the gym. Wow, really? You can make us travel all the way there for a gym? <laughs> Finley. So you are MDB, huh? The name's Finley. Mr. McMahon told me to take you under my wing. Yeah, <laughs> I've been doing this a long time, so just keep your mouth shut. Come here, I'm gonna take you under my muscly wing, and we're gonna wrestle together. That's Finley, it's more like flabby wing. Flabby but talented wing. First off, let's cover the gym. When we aren't in the ring, we're hitting the weights. I'm assuming that you have never wrestled in your life and just got a WWE contract. Yeah, because that's how they do it here. <laughs> wow. Wow. That's how they do it. You just don't ever learn how to wrestle. And then you come here and they're like, here's a thousand bucks. Okay. Okay, uh, that's where you are. For better, for stronger. Finley, you are talking to me like I'm an idiot. <laughs> Everybody is. Uh, he says we haven't hit the gym in a while. Can't you tell? Or it's been a while. Uh, can't you tell I've been working out? Not really, to be honest with ya. <laughs> Dude. This game is Finley, funny. Come on. One more thing before we're done here. The last thing you need is to injure yourself outside the ring. Because of that, I'm limiting you to one kind of training session per day. 
Speaking of getting banged up, let's go check out the hospital. Are you gonna teach me what a hospital is, Finley? <laughs> Finley's gonna teach you a hospital. <laughs> He's totally gonna teach you what a hospital is. Yeah, let's go! Alright. This freaking go. story mode. Let's and go the see Red. <laughs> <laughs> That's good, that's good. Oh gosh, this game. He wheels himself in. No, he would have been in HQ. Uh, welcome to the hospital. In our line of work, there's always injuries that need to be looked at. Especially when you're taking a beating in the ring. Mm -hmm. So if you get hurt, make sure to get to the hospital and get treated. Otherwise, it's gonna affect your performance in the ring. Which reminds me. I've got to hand over, head over to the arena and prepare for my match tonight. I've got a hand over there. Finley, you've got a little bit of a stutter, buddy. <laughs> Before you meet with me, you should probably head back to WWE headquarters and introduce yourself to Teddy. I'll be waiting in the oh, locker no. room. Don't get any funny ideas. What? Funny Jumping ideas? in the locker room. <laughs> Be like, screw you, Finley. Nobody talks to me like I'm an idiot. It's either that or he thinks I'm gonna like jump someone and uh, jump, jump Teddy. Now you're gonna go jump Triple H. Welcome, to DCW player. Uh, yeah, oh, he's so black. Oh, he's urban. Uh, so how does that feel to be a member of the WWE? Um, Matt, I kind of wanted a different brand. No. <laughs> yeah, say that. Fired immediately. Uh, I can't believe this isn't real. <laughs> You're going one on one with the Undertaker <laughs> in a tag team match. That's all he does: Under Undertaker matches and tag team matches. Glad to hear. Hold on to your your passion, Playboy. Don't forget why you're here to amaze and entertain the WWE universe. Now I've got a little arrangement. Debut match. Folks love tonight. You're going one on one between you and the one and only Belfast Brawler Finley. Now head over to the ECW Arena. All right. I think we're gonna go wrestle for the first time. Except for, can I like go do training in the gym? Okay. Train in the gym? No? 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 Really? No. I can't, okay. can't use any of the equipment. So Finley you limited me to- You can't even walk over to, top of the mats. Finley limited me to once a day, except for today when I'm not allowed to at all. I think he's trying to rig it so he wins this match. Yeah, it sounds like. Yeah. I think I'm gonna break all the equipment. Uh, all done talking to Teddy? Good. Well, don't worry, you'll get used to the smell. <laughs> Over here is your locker. Which one? You're look you're pointing me towards, like, five. Uh, how you entertain the WWE universe outside of the ring is just as important as how you entertain them inside of it. I don't agree. Uh, remember, you get business, top of the business, blah blah blah. Uh, so tonight your debut, did Teddy tell you who you'll be facing? Yeah, it's- why do I even have the option to just say no he didn't say? Why would I say that? Um... Maybe you don't like Finley? Ha ha ha, you've gotta be kidding me. Well, young man, it looks like our class is still in session. Yeah, this sounds like it came from Finley's mouth, alright. But the bell's not gonna save you this time. When did it ever? <laughs> when did it ever? We just got here. You're assuming we're not even a wrestler. I think we can only assume we've never wrestled in our life. We don't even seem to have worked out before. Okay, so this is to redo moves and shit. Okay, so that'll okay. be useful. Okay, let's head over to the uh, start match button in the arena. All right. Time for a first wrestling match. Oh, apparently we can't use any of our cards that I earned outside. Okay. Let's watch our amazing entrance, because we're probably going to skip it every time in the future. Oh, yeah. 
What is it with the card thing? Yeah, I don't know why I can't use my cards. I spent like 80 matches getting these fucking cards. I want to goddamn use them. Mind you, I almost never use them, but mm -hmm. it'd be nice to have. You can like have up to three and they give you little abilities in the match, like to oh. instantly get out of a pin, for instance, which is really useful to just instant kick out or to like steal a finisher or stuff like that. Nice. So useful stuff. Because WWE likes stealing your time and money. Indeed. Oh, God, why do they always give Finley his shitty Leprechaun theme? He used to have such a good theme song before this. Oh, the announcer doesn't give an intro to me, but he does to Finley. Also, the crowd reaction? Dead. There's no sound effect for the crowd. Wow. I like how the crowd is like one step above... WWF No Mercy. Yep, because carrying the shillelagh makes you Irish. Yep, and your name sounds like shillelagh, and that's why I call you that from time to time. Yes, it does. Haha! -ha! Awkward back elbow. Okay, now this is one of the ways I found to completely cheese the opponent. Um, I'll, I'll do it as soon as I get a good opportunity to start it. Okay. Wham! Wham! <laughs> <laughs> wow! <laughs> the AI is not that good. I think I'm gonna try and make this a fair fight, though. It's not a very good sound effect. It's just Finley. Yeah. You don't need to make it a fair fight. Oh yeah, I forgot. I probably shouldn't do strong grapples because my strong gra grapples blow compared to my weak grapples. <laughs> now this is like a shoot fight. <laughs> it's is the most one-sided shoot fight ever. Yep. That back elbow looks so bad. I've got to replace that. <laughs> what is that shit? I like the sound effect too. Okay, let's just get him in a figure four and make him tap like a bitch. No, he's using a card. I don't know what it's doing, though. Uh, get in your corner. Well, that's what it looks like when they use cards, eh? Yeah, that little spinny thing in the top right. Swirly rectangle. Yep. Ooh, good sound effect and good reaction. Am I actually going to get him with this? No, no, only a one count. Turn around. Haha, -ha, full of Nelson! <laughs> it's almost as good as grabbing their tail. Almost. Come on. Yeah, you walked right into that one. Now, before the end of this match, I need to land my amazing, um. I need to land my amazing, uh. What's it called? My elbow drop on him. Actually, I might get him right here. Come on, Finley. Come on, Finley. <laughs> Come on. Shit. Shit. No. Aha! Come on, Finley. What's my finisher again? Hip DOS? <laughs> hey and, uh, because my finisher wasn't good enough, I'm gonna put him over by the corner and elbow drop. <laughs> Clearly, that hip DOS will do him in. <sighs> Greatest elbow, <laughs> elbow drop, drop ever. <laughs> that elbow drop is ridiculous. And Finley has lost. Did he hit me once? I don't think so. So, Finley's career has now ended. And we got an instant kickout card. That's actually very useful. What an excellent debut performance by this young superstar. What if I pick to be an old man? Then what? Then what game? I th <laughs> Sean says, I think that's literally the worst finisher I've ever seen. Yeah, I'm getting a Ryback push. I'm calling it now, guys. This is match number one of my undefeated streak. <laughs> oh, yeah. We're taking a tally, guys. I want a tally in that chat. My undefeated streak is at one. <laughs> <laughs> Feed me more. 
no one, no one kicks out of the hip toss. <laughs> and a victory over the Belfast Brawler is nothing to sneeze at. He didn't land a hit. I think he, like, missed one punch, and he tried to grapple me, but I need him in the gut. Yeah. Seeing where MDB goes from here will be extremely interesting. Well, first I'm gonna go home. Actually, I'm not gonna go to the locker room showers, then home. That's it for tonight. Join us next Tuesday for ECW. Yeah, that was your only match in ECW. I got $2,000 for that. That's better than my signing bonus. That's double my signing bonus. Where am I? Is this my house? I'm living large. <laughs> Uh, oh, MDB, come to my office. I have something to get over with you. What? Oh, Kelly Kelly is calling me. Ooh. It's Kelly Kelly. Um, I have a question for you. And was hoping you could meet me at the hospital to talk about it. A, ask me now. B, why are you at the hospital? Yeah! Okay, so Vince McMahon wants to talk to me, and Kelly Kelly wants to talk to me, but first of all, is this our house? Cards. So I can look at my Yu-Gi-Oh collection, okay. okay. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah, I didn't get to keep any of my single player cards, apparently. Uh, I got my computer over here, cool. Why do I have an alarm clock next to my TV if I have a computer right here? And I can't go into my bedroom. My house is small as fuck, and I don't think I have a bathroom. Monthly gossip. Where does the big red monster train? Anywhere he wants. Be sure to answer your phone. You never know who might be testing you. Ooh. The gold standard has a bone to pick. This time with you. You as in the person reading the magazine, or you <laughs> as in me? Are we witnessing the greatest United States champion of all time? These headlines suck. <laughs> These headlines are questionable at best. <laughs> yeah, ain't no stopping him now. He's gonna jump out of the magazine and hit me with pay dirt on the table. On my living room table. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna be a rebel and say I'm not going to the hospital, and I'm not going to see my boss, I'm gonna go to the gym. You're in the gym and work out. Where does tr where does where does uh what was it? Where does Kane train? In the gym, which is where he wants. I'm as tall as Kane, apparently. Spoiler alert: Kelly Kelly is a trap. <laughs> <gasps> well, we all know she has STDs. Chawan, you don't need to spell it out for us. <laughs> um, don't bother me. So you're working out, huh? Anything you say, Kane? I'm gonna call it, just gonna choke slam <laughs> it. I'm just gonna back off. Yeah. Beat it. Can I talk to you again? Do yourself a favor and forget about training. Enjoy your last few days on this planet before I send you to the fiery abyss. Uh oh. Do yourself. <laughs> okay. Okay. Offer him a, offer him a hug. <laughs> Oh, the strike button doesn't work in here. Uh, well, I'm gonna go to the grappling dummy. No, you wanna do squats. So is this like a minigame? You start on the mounted position. Directions to perform moves will appear, and you click them. Ooh. Okay, I can dig it. And you press the button to perform strikes on the grappling dummy. Fuck. Uh, okay, I'll do this. I can do this. <gasps> oh! This already looks... so lame! Mm-hmm! Man, this is some action-packed music. <laughs> oh, fuck. A button is... A button's not strike. I don't know why it says A sometimes. It's crazy. Man, this training montage. Proper, <laughs> the proper uh, ring gear too, by the way. You know, this is this is what you wear to the gym, right? Yeah. T-shirt and jeans. 
That's what you wear to the gym. <laughs> yeah, hair not tied up. Yeah. Oh, fuck. If it's good enough for the yeah. ring, it's good enough yeah. for the gym. Apparently, if I can beat Finley in this shit. Oh, hey, Finley. Did you see that? It was pretty awesome, wasn't it? Did you see that leg trip? You wish you had a finisher like that. Hornswoggle told me what you did for him. No, we just did that so we can beat up Jack Swagger. Yeah, we didn't do that for him. Uh, thanks. Okay. Oh, well, isn't this touching? You two are pathetic, you know that? Yes, oh, we're well aware. Shit. I forgot, I didn't even notice what I clicked there. Um, he won't be if he keeps messing with my son. Looks like you're already making friends. Thanks again for looking out for little horns. So I was not looking out for him. Stop. Don't put that on me. <laughs> Stop assuming. God damn, I got the ECW backstage card. What's that do? Wait, it skipped to the next day? Wanted to wrestle. Didn't even have an official match. But you did wrestle. I don't know. That was a backstage brawl. Uh, and I got Playmaker. No. Uh, ECW backstage cannot be selected as an arena in play mode. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. I'm sure it's so different from every other backstage. Let's go to the gym. Hey, Kane. Big red molester. <laughs> uh, what stat do I want to get up? I want to get power. Because a lot of things rely on power. Yep. Yeah. Next, they're gonna feed. They're gonna feed right back to me next. Yeah, you're right. No one can stand up to Madrai the Hammer Bread. No oh yeah. One. Speaking of hammers, did you ever play Chivalry when it was on that uh, demo week? I did not get a chance to. I bought it and I'm so fucking happy I did. That game is so good. Nice. So, uh... You ready for this amazing, uh... Bench press in action? Oh boy. My record's 22, you think I can beat it? Wish I had a turbo controller. I think I should just do the speed minigame only for now on, because it's the fastest. Yeah. Just speed and endurance, or durability. Oh, almost got strangled. These minigames suck. It's so daunting. I like how the timer start uh, stops when I'm bringing the dumbbell back down. Or the uh, bench press, rather. Time just comes to a grinding halt when you do that. I did, it was fun. I didn't buy it, though. I wanted to see how War of the Roses progresses. Yeah, I haven't played that one yet, but I do want that one. It looks good. Uh, got strangled at the end, like usual. We, we matched our, uh, our previous record. I'm just going to get my strength up by a point, and then I'm going to stop with the bench press for a very long time. Oh, yes. Uh, let's go to the shop. Alright, extras. Back grapples, gut wrench power bomb, old school, world strong slam, reality check. I fucking love that move. Fine. I wonder if I have enough stats for that. Whisper in the Wind, cool. Shattered Dreams, I have to have the stats for Shattered Dreams. Springboard Moonsault, is that like Yang time? I fucking love that move. I doubt I, I probably need speed, but I'll give it a shot. Let's see if I have enough for those. So I got Reality Check and Yang time. Okay, now can this be a strong grapple, or does it have to be a finisher? 
Oh wow, they actually call it that. Um, yeah, it must have to be a finisher. Okay, let's look at my finishers. See if it's an option here for me. Reality check requires nine speed. Oh wow! Yeah, just keep doing them jump ropes. Yeah. Wow. Can I do it outside the the ring? Can I pick it as an outside the ring finisher? Because it wouldn't make any sense. No. Okay. Because he bounces on the rope. Mm -hmm. uh, what was the other move I got? Yang time. Um, yep. Corner move, strong. So that's a moonsault. Springboard moonsault requires eight speed. Damn. Yeah. You need to be jumping to the knee. That's a pretty good animation. I like it. Mm -hmm. It's decent. But yeah, you'll be jumping rope for like three months. Well, I can't wait for that. Let's go pass <laughs> out now because this is all we have in our life. <laughs> jump rope. All we have is all we have is bench press, jump rope, and wrestle and gym in general. Mm -hmm. We need to get our strength up. Then we can redo our moveset. <laughs> if you need speed, I'm sure Jeff Hardy can hook you up. <laughs> That's really good. I like that. That's good. That's good. That's good. Oh man, we need like four more speed points. Oh, oh. I'm happy when they keep giving me the same button over and over because then my reaction time is better. Indeed. Oh god, I hate when it's the last one I try. I can never remember where each button is. Night, Juan. And remember, everyone in the chat, this is getting recorded, so for the first time ever, your uh, your comments will actually be on the stream. Woo. I'm sure that just blows your minds. Uh, this mini game sucks. I think I only need to do it like two more times. As long as I keep hitting that record of 22. How, how much weight am I holding exactly? I'm not really a good visual judge of how much I'm lifting. You're lifting 200 pounds. Uh, I'm, li I'm lifting at least 20 pounds. <laughs> at least 20. Yeah. Oh. Yes, I broke my record. I don't think I'm gonna get another one. Oh wow, yeah. Okay, I'm definitely not nice. getting another one. Uh, I kept from getting strangled. <laughs> That's always a good thing. Okay, one more and I'll definitely have a strength point. Hey Kane. You're impressed, aren't you? I <laughs> He's at least like, a quarter good job, you but can. you didn't strangle yourself this time. Yeah. That's a stark improvement. Good job, buddy. Friday, which means SmackDown invasion. <laughs> Let's go to the Excellent. gym. A round one spike deadly. Uh, <laughs> so you mean 300 pounds, right? I watched the entire Mountain Blade stream on YouTube after it was uploaded. I'm happy you liked it. I'm going to be doing more of those, probably. I do very much enjoy those streams, uh, the Mountain Blade ones. So, also we need to get back to Romance of the Three Kingdoms at some point. There's so many things I want to stream, and I just don't have enough time because I have so many things to work on. Like those creepypastas get me a ton of views, and I have a ton of fun doing them. They take a long time to make though, because I I like to record the audio in multiple sessions because I get so tongue tied, and the editing is super easy but extremely tedious. Um. Yeah. Oh. The dry it looks like 90 pounds. Yeah, it doesn't look that impressive. Like, d 90 pounds for a WWE wrestler is not much. Still better than what I can do. 
I'm just happy this is the last time we're going to see the bench press for a very long time. Oh, yes. But we've got a long and arduous journey of jump rope ahead of us. Oh, yeah. And squats. Oh, yes. Yeah. Probably jump rope first. Although yeah, we, we gotta do get need durability. Speed. Oh, God, I'm not doing so good this time. I feel like it is getting a bit harder. I think it's just because my arm is getting tired. Okay, we, this is probably enough. Jump rope for heart? Yeah, totally. Alright, you're back full time this time. You tuned in you just in time to see me get 23 bench presses. It's great. Are you even contracted? I thought you just wandered in backstage and Vince thought you were Kidman. <laughs> damn it, Kidman. Oh, damn it, Kidman. Okay, now we need to go to the ECW arena all the way in the Midwest so we can change our moveset. Then we're going to go back down to, like, California, or, uh, Florida, rather, for SmackDown. Of course, because you can do all this in one day. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. When ECW was still a thing... Wasn't it? It was taped on the same night in the same location as SmackDown? Because I've gone to a SmackDown show and saw both SmackDown and ECW. I saw them change the fucking apron. It's possible. I'm pretty sure that's what they do. So why are they in different locations? It's the same stadium. And they tour. Why are the stadiums not in different places? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they did that? But yeah, I see. I'm right. Uh, so... Do we, do we have something better we can take in the Haymaker now? What's our attribute for strength? We're at five. We used to have four. So what's new to five? Nothing is new to five? I'm gonna stick with Haymaker. Okay, running attacks. We can do the jumping knee. So like a running knee lift. That's a classic wrestling move, I like that. That or the y Yakuza kick. What do we want, the high knee or the Yakuza kick? I'm gonna go with high knee. And we can switch to a knee drop, hell yeah. Oh yeah! Knee drop to the head, love it. Uh, I'm gonna stick with these moves for now for weak grapples. Strong grapples need a good change. Samoa drop, I like the Samoa drop. Yeah, I'll take a Samoa drop. That's good one. Hangman's neckbreaker, that's power? Oh, it's the Rude Awakening, too. Except that they didn't fall in the Rude Awakening correctly. <laughs> Whatever, I'll take it. Jumping pile driver instead of the regular pile driver. Kind of like how the other one looks more, but this is more damage. What else? What other choices do we have? Ooh, Gourd Buster. I love the Gourd Buster. Oh, that's not even a Gourd Buster. That's an inverted Falcon's Arrow. Yeah, I'm gonna go with this. Oops. And, uh... Now for back grapples. Which is good because we have, like, none. Inverted DDT. Oh, that looks good. I love that. I like how this game actually calls it correctly, too. It's an inverted DDT, not a reverse one. Because that's the only thing we unlocked there. So, fine with me. Good move. And what other things were we really limited in due to strength? Mm. Uh, corner moves? Super play. Oh yeah, strong corner move. Corner forehand shot. Super arm drag is now unlocked. I don't think I like that more than a super plex though. Yeah. Flying clothesline? Yeah, just fine, flying clothesline. And pointed elbow drop. Still just pointed el elbow drop. Yes! <laughs> I'm glad we didn't unlock anything else for that. The move that won us our first match. That move is a career ruiner right there. I've gotta say, it's actually good though. What's good? 2010 still at ECW? Must have been uh, late edit out or something. Uh, it, yeah, 2010 still had... It had ECW in the very beginning part, but keep in mind that these games come out like a year early. Like, 2000, uh, usually the games come out in October, and it will be named after the next year. Yeah. So keep that in mind. So really, uh, it's way more representative of the too. previous year. 
Uh, yeah, so I guess that's it for our move set for now. We have just uh, upgraded our move set. So we're gonna keep that that uh, undefeated streak intact. So who's that SmackDown to beat up? Shelton, you want some more? <laughs> hey Benjamin, you remember last week? I love video games. You do too? Well, that's probably the only thing we have in common. Shelton Benjamin's letting bygones be bygones. Just wanna fight. I have the bloodlust. <laughs> okay, well, guess we're out on Monday then. Let's see if there's someone who can beat up at Raw. Uh, gym. Uh, squats? No, jump rope. Alright, let's jump some rope. Let's be careful you don't hit Kane in the head with the jump rope. <laughs> yeah, he'll be a little pissed. In fact, I think I'm standing exactly where he was. Yeah. Oh yeah, look at that jump rope. You know what's the shittiest part about this minigame? Mm. I have no opportunity during it to actually look at the chat. With the bench <laughs> press, I could look at it when the bar was going back down. Now I just gotta keep my eyes pinned on this. Because I know if I look away and start reading stuff, I'm gonna lose my rhythm. Also, I think the rope's a little long for him. I wonder if you're if you're the absolute tallest height, if it will like phase through your feet. Hmm. We've like... already beaten our record by a fuck ton because I wasted like the first <laughs> 20 seconds the first time. Yep. I wonder if I can go to the fastest speed. Oh yeah, 68 jumps. Okay, so every time we fuck up, we lose a few points, but it's not much. Okay, uh, Triple H, you at Raw. Santino's there, Kelly Kelly. Well, let's go beat up Kelly Kelly first. <laughs> Clearly. The GM's in a panic. Apparently a superstar was supposed to compete in a match tonight is nowhere to be found. Mind helping me? How's that yeah. fever of yours, by the way, Kelly Kelly? <laughs> yeah. I don't think so. The only person I need to look out for is me. No, uh, you know it. I'm always ready to go. Free exposure on a show that isn't on mine? Yes, please. When you ready, head over to the arena. We're gonna fight Ted DiBiase Jr. Okay. I can do this. So, clearly it was Cody Rhodes who didn't show up. I uh, guess. <laughs> that asshole. This is a tag team match, though. This is back when they were tagging. Oh, that high knee looks good. <laughs> Game is broken. Oh, clap, Ted! Clap, 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 clap. clap. <laughs> wow. Well. It's quite amazing, isn't it? So, the undefeated streak is going to continue, and not even on my show. I wonder if they actually <laughs> introduced me as being a wrestler from ECW, or if they just said I was a homeless man. <laughs> like, oh, and Kidman wanders to the ring. <laughs> he, I think he's lost. I think he's wrestling in TNA now. And so that's the kind of place you'd find Kidman. TNA. <laughs> I wonder what Kidman's even doing now. He's probably still in the indie circuit. Alright, let's get him in the Muda lock. Why am I, like, grabbing his hand and, like, smushing it into his face? <laughs> I don't think that's a part of the Muda lock. It's the most important part. Oh, yeah. Man, I get momentum fast. Oh, he's using a card. Okay, I'm just gonna break his fucking neck over my shoulder. And uh, that should lead up perfectly <laughs> to the elbow drop. You using that knee attack fits quite well if people think you're kidding. <laughs> <laughs> it does, doesn't it? Now, if I was Raven, all I would do is the high knee. Ow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> all I would do is the high knee and the hip toss. Oh yes. Which are two of my signature maneuvers. <laughs> all right, the superplex should get ready for the finisher. Step, step, step. 
Oh, nice knee drop there. Next time hit. Oh, <laughs> there we go. No sound effects for the knee drop, by the way. Wow. Alright. Time to put down yet another wrestler with the hip toss. Rope break? No, yeah, that hip toss. No. Two, three, we got him. <laughs> hip toss wins matches. Yep. I'm telling you, it's won championships. Hip toss. And I got a thousand bucks. And we're skipping forward to Tuesday. Good thing I went to the gym or first. Or no! So what's the monthly gossip say? Same shit as always, okay. I think it's gonna change next week. Oh, Mark Henry's in the hospital. Hmm. I feel bad for the nurse that has to look over you. The fuck hey, dude! I feel like we should be saying that to you. <laughs> yeah. I feel like I should hit him with a Hummer. I know! I'll just steal his Hummer and hit him with it. Okay, back to jump rope. Why is he in the hospital? I don't know. Is he injured? How much are we going to wrestle him tonight? It's like, I thought you were injured. I'm going to speed this up. He's in the hospital to see if his wig is indeed split. He has a wig? <laughs> I'll be honest, I never knew if he does. <laughs> I always thought his hair looked pretty real. Can't Im oh, fuck. I can't imagine he would wear a wig, I mean. How can you wrestle and the wig doesn't fall off? Maybe it's sewn into his skull. Uh, entirely possible. <laughs> oh man, I feel like I would have done better if I didn't try and speed it up. I wonder what's the world's highest score on this. Mm. Like the highest score in the world of it. And, oh god, I still need so much more. You don't get many points on that jump rope thing. It's a hard game. Stupid jump rope. Okay, Teddy. How's it going, playboy? Teach the ropes. <laughs> Yes, sir! <laughs> um, yeah, does anybody have any idea what he's saying? <gasps> okay, let's talk to all the wrestlers. Hey, Evan. I know you're new here, so let me give you a tip. This is the same tip you gave me before. It's not even really a tip. Okay, let's go talk to Swagger. He likes to think he's important. Hey, Swagger. Remember when I beat you up? I'm a role model here in ECW. Do what I do, and you'll turn out just fine. Uh, yeah, do what you do, you mean get beaten up by me? You mean pick on Hornswoggle? Yes, sir! Can do. What an opportunity! Oh. Uh, <laughs> thanks for my son. He wants to express his thanks. Arg, ha ha. You received instant knockout card. Or instant kickout card. Oh, shit, I did that thing again where I didn't even read what I was saying. You might want to throw some disinfectant on that. I think you said you're giving this to me. Oh. Question. Hanswoggle seems to like you now. Fuck oh, dear God. I don't like him. Uh, I gotta run. Look, the Irish be with you. Thanks. Hey, Finley, I think your son dissolved. No, you have nothing to tell me? Okay. Alright, I gotta wrestle. Backstage with Jack Swagger. This is gonna be more hornstog- hornstoggle. Horn swoggle shit. Well, well, well. Looks like somebody's a little nervous for their match. Oh. Hey. It's you. Oh. I thought you were sinister. <laughs> uh, how's Finley and that filthy leprechaun he always hangs out with? Uh, how should I know? I was gonna- my other option was to call him Smelly. Fuck you, game. <laughs> Don't play dumb with me. Oh, I heard you were facing some local jobber, but I told Teddy that I thought a talent could use a bigger challenge. They switch matches. I got your guy, and you get Vladimir Kozlov. 
Uh, I thought I was the local jobber. I think he got things confused. <laughs> yeah. So what's Kozlov's undefeated streak at this point? Wouldn't this be the point in his career when he still hasn't lost a match? Because I'm pretty sure his first lost matches were against Shawn Michaels and Undertaker. So I think this point at this point in time, uh, Kozlov was undefeated. All right, let's go his winning streak. Uh, some people call him undefeated. I call him number five. <laughs> yes. You're nothing, Kozlov. With your generic ass attire. <laughs> yeah. Kick him in the ass. Kick him in the ass. Kick him up. <laughs> oh god, oh god. Break his arm. And figure... Oh. You know, get get in the fucking corner. I'm just gonna choke you. There we go. I'll just hang the man illegally in the ring. Where's the referee? Now that I think about it, he's uh being careful. Ah. He knows not to get involved in that. Um. Hey, Kozlo. <laughs> that was weird. Apparently, you can just kind of stay up there if you want to. Ooh, that does a lot of damage. I like that. Okay, back to the top rope. You're gonna get up again? Now I'm gonna just get plow through you. Oh wow, that actually did damage. Okay. Huh? No, only a one count. Not nearly as strong as the elbow drop. <laughs> Which is the greatest move I've ever done next to the uh, trip and the hip toss. Okay, get in your corner. I'm gonna... Oh, fuck you. Okay, now that you're in the corner... Gotta get the elbow drop. Okay, I think that's the match right there. One, two. Oh, that's bullshit. No one kicks out of the elbow drop. Macho Man's got nothing on me. And break his neck. Nope. 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 He's doing the instant back grapple thing. Mm. Oh god. Oh god, this is gonna hurt. I think this is the first time he hits me. Oh, no, I got out of it. Okay, I'm good. Damn it, Kelly Kelly. Uh, I'm just gonna strangle him more. I thought she was at the hospital. <laughs> <laughs> I think she I think she finished uh, getting her... Uh... Check up? Yep. Uh, how do I keep getting distracted by Kelly Kelly? This is the second time he's pulled out this card. I know. How does he have these cards? Yeah. Is Kozlov the new boyfriend of Kelly Kelly? I wouldn't be surprised. One, two, two three. three. One with an arm breaker. Oh yeah. Your undefeated streak has been finished. Mine continues. Six and zero. Oh. oh yeah. All right. Arm breaker. Arm breaker. Arm breaker. Is he gonna hit me with a shillelagh? What's the matter? Did something happen? Exactly how long have you been standing there? Is he gonna hit me? Can I take the shillelagh and hit him? I've got Finley. If you want your father back, then attack MDB. Oh wow. This is fucking stupid. That's the dumbest <laughs> one I've ever met. You want to dance, troll? Bring it! <laughs> yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh, come on. What, Swagger? What? Was this the jobber you beat up? You had the perfect opportunity for him swaggle. All you had to do was hit him from behind. There's Swagger, you're an idiot. <laughs> How long did it take you to write that letter? <laughs> Yeah, just having a little fun. Finley's out somewhere looking for the thing standing next to you. And before you get any ideas, Teddy Long says you can't touch me until backlash, even though you, even though I assaulted you. 
See you Sunday. Sunday's backlash? Okay. $2,000, by the way. Well, worst kidnapping ever. Well, that was amazing, wasn't it? That was... I don't know, that's a storyline that can only rival UCW's true potential. Uh, that storyline was at least as good as the Hummer. Oh, yes. Or, what was that one other balls, like, balls insane storyline we were talking about in it? Um... And the one where Goldberg tried to bury Brett Hart. Right, that one, that was the one I was thinking of. That, like, end show promo thing that they did. No, wasn't it Brett Hart tried to bury, like, Goldberg in the Nevada desert or some shit? Yeah, it was, it was, I think that's how it went, if I remember correctly. Oh, God. WCW. One shot ended the show thing that they did. WCW, it's an amazing thing, isn't it? It's something. It's up there with the greatness of the Katie Vick storyline? Oh, yeah. I screwed your brains out, Katie. <laughs> wow. And then it turns out he actually did kill her or some shit. Uh, why is it every storyline where like Triple H is just absolutely horrible, he wins? Like the like the time he beat Booker T via racism. <laughs> Do you remember that one when he yep. wouldn't let him in evolution because he's black? And then he won that he won the feud? Yep. Racism wins. <laughs> Triple H makes the best heel. He really does. He can't, I, he can't be anything else. He, he really can't be anything else. Okay, so uh, let's go back to the shop. Let's see if there's anything good we can afford. Maybe use. Hey, der, uh, Forward Russian leg sweep. Oh, what? Like the stroke? An electric chair. Wheelbarrow face buster. That'd be fucking awesome. Uh, Osaka Stunner. Trouble Paradise. Kill Switch. Head Scissors. Tornado DDT. Olympic Slam. Crossroads. Dream Street. Sweet Chin Music. Hell's Gate. Spear. Corkscrew Scissor Kick. Running Punt Kick. Acid Drop. It's calling Spike Dudley's uh, Dudley Dog by the, e the original ECW name. Interesting. Diamond Dust fl Springboard Float Over DDT. Slice Bread. Yeah, 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 muscle Buster. Super Double Underhook Power Bomb. That sound. Oh, uh, uh, I know the animation for that one. That looks good. Diving Neck Breaker. Nice. Leg Drop Bulldog. Uh, I want the. Uh, I want the Diving Neck Breaker. I think it's the overhead one. And. I'll take. I'll take Moonsault Pin. Okay, I'm getting some decent moves that I probably don't have the stats to use. Let's see if we can equip the maneuvers in our locker. Okay, so. Already trying to remember what I got. This, this. Oh, that's the Mrs. Uh, Connor clothesline. Okay. Running double. Oh, the Elijah Express. Oh God, I wish I had the speed for that move. That move's awesome. Right, so diving. Um, what are the diving moves in this again? Hmm. Where do I put this on the left of the stream? I can't click it right now. Uh, Shally, can you actually click that link and let me know what it is so I get the joke? Oh, here's diving. <laughs> is it tag grumps? Yeah, it's tag grumps. I might put that up there, yeah. Uh, I'll have to put that up for there for the next stream. And since I don't have the stats for that yet. Oh yeah, the neck breaker. I don't have the stats for that yet either, but when I have enough for one, I'll have enough for the other. God, that's a good-looking neckbreaker. I want that. All right. I guess that's it for this game day. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna make my guy sleep. And now, 
I think I'm gonna start wrapping up the stream soon because it's getting pretty late, but first, let's save the game. And we're actually gonna switch to the 2008 game for a match or two so I can show everyone in the stream and Shally exactly what it is because it's very cool. So I'm just gonna go on five minute break for a second so I can switch up what the stream says. Update, so that has now updated. And let's tell it to go back to the game and we'll switch the game to 2008. Now, this one is actually controlled, I think, entirely by the mouse. <laughs> So this is going to be a stark change to uh, controls, but I've not played. I've not played any of the story mode of this yet. Uh, also, this game's a little quiet. Let me just. That's better. All right, I'm going to show you an exhibition so you can see what this game is like. It's actually incredibly fun. I've never played a wrestling game like this. I think I'll use. Um... I'm actually going to use Mr. Kennedy because I've played as a lot of different people and everyone has very different movesets and I found Mr. Kennedy is one of the funnest. Mm. Mr. Kennedy, I'll fight fucking... Where's a jobber? He's the biggest jobber of this game. Probably Gregory Helms, pre-bandana. <laughs> uh, might as well go in ECW, start match with current settings. Yes. Okay. This game's really hard, actually, but it's so fun. Basically, you're given three commands in every position. Each command leads to another position by doing wrestling maneuver. Hmm. And basically, you just combo through moves, and the amount of combos there are is phenomenal. Oh, wow. Also, the computer is really fast on the draw. Ow. <laughs> Break the eye. And, uh, rebound attack. What's this gonna be? Leg drop to the arm. Uh, I don't know how I really describe this. Yeah, you'll, it's you'll different. see just by watching it how different this is, how every little position has three moves you can do. Walk up, and I'm gonna Irish whip him. And each person has different move they do out of the Irish whip, of course. With mine, it's a leaping forearm smash, which I think looks awesome. And he punches me in the balls. Now, of course, the, there's one, two, and three in each position. One is usually the weakest, two is medium, three is uh, strongest. No, I can do a small package out of here. So even when he's on the offensive, you still have like, all different kind of, uh, kinds of choices of moves and counters. So even in every single like position when you're getting attacked, you have three different counters. Nope. Double leg takedown. So, I actually think this game is super underrated. I don't know what the story mode's like, but the matches are really fun. I want to do a fall away slam position, and we'll do a swinging side slam. I want to weaken his body to red, because uh, once his body is red, I can do my finisher, which in this game, my finisher is the Kenton Bomb. Yeah. I think this is before he started doing Green Bay Plunge. Which Kenton Bomb looks awesome in this game. Ow. Uh, almost ready. Also, uh, weak attacks will not interrupt your level 3 strong attacks, but they will interrupt your level 2 attacks. So you kind of have to plan and like, start to like look at the enemy movements and figure out which one's which. And you can use tactics like that, but you can also just win if you're way faster than them. Ow. Ow. 
Am I red or blue? I'm the one who's winning, so on the top here I'm red. I'm uh, Mr. Kennedy, so the blonde one in the gray tights. <laughs> Got him with the uh, X Factor, because that's a power move in this game that almost everyone has. I've actually gotten really good with this moveset. I almost only play with Mr. Kennedy now, just because he's such a fun character in this game. Oops. Eh. I really wound up on that punch. So you can even drop kick them when they get tied in the ropes, and you have all new moves to do in that position and everything. Like, the variety's amazing. And you need to, it's really hard to figure out how you get people into finisher position, though. Like, with Mr. Kennedy, it's punch, punch, punch or drop kick, then shoulder charge, then alley-oop bomb, then climb to the top rope. Like, the, some of the combos to get in these positions are insane. There are a few other ways to get to the top rope, but they require, like, the enemy to be in the right position. Or, like, for the enemy to put you in the right position. I don't think I'm gonna get on... Oh, no. No, I didn't get on the rope. Damn. Back when the WWE gave a damn about separate brands, and they kind <laughs> of gave a shit about it at this point. Not, not super. Okay, I think between the shoulder charge and the alley oop bomb, I can get him in the right position for my finisher. Oh, I hate those spin ones. Okay, is this gonna do enough damage? One, yes. Okay, if I can just get to the top rope and get the Kenton Bomb. It's really brutal in this game, where you hit them vertically with it. Don't dodge. Oh god, that looks and sounds great. And then if you do a finisher, you automatically go for a pin cover. And then it's a tapping mash, which I don't know how you would ever do that on an actual touch screen. Yeah. That looked like it fucking hurt, I agree. With uh, Jeff Hardy, you land on them like horizontally, like normal. I think it looks more p painful vertically. And the sound effects in this game are just fantastic. So I'm gonna do one more match, and in a future stream, we're probably gonna do season mode. But I think we're both probably very hungry and tired by this point. Very much so. Especially because you're gonna have dinner forever ago, and I am an asshole. <laughs> dinner forever ago, yes. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do Snitsky, because he's another one with really fun moves in. Let's do uh, Battle of the Balls. Let's do Backlash, because no one gives a fuck about Backlash. The following contest. So I think Snitsky's finisher in this game is the Big Boot. Choke? Uh, elevated Choke? And let's do a sit-out. Actually, let's just choke him more. And Brain Damage, which is sit-out Choke Bomb. Love that move. Ah, uh, Mark Firestorm. I didn't read the rest of that, I just saw that in the chat and I'm interested. Oh, little rats are raw. Oh, they er, are so stupid thing. Yeah, I'm pretty <laughs> sure that was Mark Firestorm slash Ogle Rats Raw, same guy. Also, highest angle Falcon's arrow ever. I just straight up dropped him on his head. He was pretty much a Michinoku driver at that point. Submissions in this game are really hard to do because it's another spinning thing. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm gonna do just straight up grounded choke slam. Apparently that does no body damage. Just head. When you say curse my dyslexia, all I can think is um actually no, wasn't it dyslexia that Tom Cruise has? Yeah, that one clip where he's like Curse this dyslexia! <laughs> oh god, and he's trying to make like a big fucking deal where he was like, I can't be a pilot because I'm dyslexic, and then Scientology saved me. Holy shit, that was funny. Yeah. Tom Cruise is a fucking idiot. Scientology saved you from your dyslexia. Yeah, saved him from his dyslexia, they kept him from being a pilot. How does how does dyslexia keep you from being a pilot? Not at all. 
It does also, Tom happen. Cruise, you were already a pilot. You were in Top Gun. <laughs> exactly. Nope. Alright, side leg hold, and that can get me into a side buster. And from side buster, I can do scoop slam position, in which I can do a power slam. The amount of combos in this game are fucking amazing. Oh god, this game is seriously so good. I can climb the turnbuckle. What's my top rope move? I'm Snitsky. Elbow drop? Yep. God, diving moves look good in this game, and the selling is so good too. This game is so underrated, like, no one knows about this game. I guess everyone just kind of assumed it would probably blow the first uh, DS WWE game. No, it's actually really good. Way better than the fucking TNA one. <laughs> Fuck, the TNA game sucked. Yeah. I TNA think... questionable at best. I think they, like, advertised the DS version by saying, like, you can play as Hulk Hogan and, uh, fucking... What's his name again? The Apollo Creed ripoff? Oh, god, yeah. Um, oh. Consequences Creed, was that it? Ooh, he's a selling point, isn't he? Oh, very much so. He's, uh, you know, that okay, I guess, wrestler. I'm pretty sure he's actually in NXT now. He's like Xavier Woods or some shit. Break his leg. Oh. Like <laughs> he just kicks me in the gut and lays back down. So all he's been able to hurt are my legs. I actually need to hurt his head a lot more. I'm just gonna fucking punch him into the corner. Cause fuck you. Spear him in the turnbuckle. Nice. Yeah, don't kick me in the shin, you fucking asshole. I'll throw him to the other corner. And this is how you get to bra back grapples. They're chanting this is awesome, but like the audio quality is horrible so it sounds like awful. <laughs> And I'm just gonna choke slam you right here. We teleported to the middle of the ring, that was weird. Usually the ring positioning is actually really accurate. Come on. There we go. Choke him. Okay, he's hurt enough. I think we can get him now. With the uh, big boot. Just need to get him into the right position, which I think is just groggy and standing, maybe? I just did a Mr. Perfect neck snap. <laughs> nice. That's pretty snitsky, right? Oh, okay, is totally. Is the right position? Yes. I love the big boot. Just... Well... <laughs> so you can buy that as a finisher, especially for a guy like Snitsky. Yeah. Where he's huge, and he's a simple dude. He just lifts his leg and kicks you in the jaw. Alright, so that's that game. I just wanted to show you guys all what that was and why I think it's a really awesome game that you guys should go out and get. And it's very interesting. I like that the interface is very different from what you'd expect. Yeah, you've got to play it sometime. It's actually really, really fun, although a bit of a learning curve. Because uh, the reaction timing is really fast if you're not used to it. So uh, I guess that's it for this stream. Another time we'll get back to the season mode on 2010, and another time we'll start the 2008 season mode, because I don't know what that's like at all. Man, <laughs> I hope they're stat building. <laughs> I hope it's as good as the 2010 one, because no, damn. There's no character creation in this, so I'd imagine you could just pick a superstar. In that case, I'm picking ECW, even though there are two oh, ECW yeah. wrestlers in the game. I'm probably good. there's CM Punk and there's Johnny Nitro, so we've got to go with Johnny Nitro. Oh yeah, I fucking love Johnny Nitro. I wish Joey Mercury were in it, but I think he'd already be out on uh, in rehab by that point for being addicted to painkillers. After you know the nose injury, mm. where he had like his nose yes. damn near ripped off by a ladder. Yeah. 
All right. Uh -huh. Well, guys, I love the stream. Six and O, baby. It's never gonna stop. <laughs> Six oh, yeah. and O. Six and O, and I think we've only wrestled like two sanctioned matches. <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right. I hope that everybody enjoyed, and until next time, have a nice day. Bye, everyone.